What is up chess friends? DT here again with another very late video for you. Um, this time reviewing the Play Magnus chess set. Um, what can I say? I form, I guess, I would like to thank you all, first of all, for all the subscribes. Uh, right now the channel is at 130 subscribers probably even more than that um, I go in from time to time whenever I get a minute to answer a, name, a question to respond to a message and um, I appreciate you for your involvement um, I have gotten some emails asking what's going on with me nothing it's just that I have a really busy life and um, that's not an excuse though I, I should be able to do this uh, more often it's just that you know, like anyone else, I also get lazy. <laughs> but right now it's one in the morning, and I'm trying to get this video here in the kitchen for you guys. Um, especially because I'm kind of excited about this set. And uh, how about we go uh, dive right into the review? Again, as w what we have in front of you here today is the Play Magnus Chess set. It's the set that is, uh, I guess, sponsored or created, not really sure, by Magnus, uh, the current world champion. What do I think about the set? I love it. I, I really do. It, I think it takes chess pieces in a slightly different direction. Um, in, and I like that. I enjoy that. Uh, there are a lot of things I like about the set. And some things I don't. And I will make sure to mention those for you. So let's talk about application. I think these chess pieces would serve adequately in the tournament absolutely um, in terms of display I think for for the average person say the non chess player they might I don't know may or may not even notice them right but for us I think something we would notice right away if these pieces were on display is that they deviate from the norm slightly if you look at the bases the design especially the queen we would notice right away that there's something a little unique about them. So for that reason, I personally purchased these pieces. But um, you know, I would also think that they will make a particularly interesting display piece in your chess room. How about Blist um, to to cut to the chase? These pieces do not meet tournament requirements in terms of the ratio, uh, you know, from base to the height of the king. Therefore, they there are more stable options out there. Could these pieces be uh, used for fast chess play? Uh, uh, sure, absolutely. Will they be the absolute best chess pieces for, for that particular application? I don't think so. I think other sets might actually um, perform better. How about um, design and flow? Um, talk to uh, about design a little bit here. I think um, the fact that the pieces share very similar bases contributes to a very um, intuitive flow when you look at them. Um, in, in addition to that, I think there's some really nice details, the, the whole straightness of the lines that are that is seen in, from piece to piece here. The similar angles also contributes to that really elegant design and, and the flow. Um, things that I particularly like about the design, again, uh, well, the bishop. I think is a very cool, interesting bishop. It kind of like gets the point across, and I, I like that a lot. Um, I already mentioned this. The queen is just cool. Look at that. Really neat. The king. Really cool. Pawn. 
Very stout little ponds, I like that. The rocks. If anything, regarding the sign, I think... Hmm, I hate to say this, did, did they get... I mean, if they innovated on this, they innovated on the queen, they were innovated with the king. Did they get lazy with the, with the knight? <laughs> Oh man, am I, am I picky or, or what? Alright, anyhow. That's design. How about we talk about materials? That's, um, that is an unknown for me. The, the, the plastic, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I'm not a plastic expert. I certainly don't know, but it doesn't feel like any other plastic I have seen in chess pieces before and um, uh, you know your experience m may be different than mine but I, I never had a, a set made of plastic that feels like this so I really don't know it could be durable it may not be durable I wonder about that the cross and the king could I mean is it durable enough is the plastic going to hold to, say, a fall? I don't know. And same thing with the queen. Very nice, interesting looking crown. But how would that hold? No clue. Um, but we'll see. I guess time will tell. The, I guess the set still has to you know, form its own track record with all, with all of us consumers and, and players. Um, how about the finish? I think it was it's very nice. There are some issues, one of which, uh, let's see, very minor stuff. I found things like this. Let's see if this will decide to focus there. Right. Not, not a deal breaker and certainly not something you can easily fix with a, with a pocket knife or something. Um, you know, seams are pretty good for the most part, but you do find that kind of excess material uh, in, in a couple of places uh, in some of the pieces um, in addition to that the pieces did come with this kind of strange coating see like you would see there in that gap um, but all over the pieces in fact, uh, when I was looking for reviews, I saw a review on the on Amazon, and that's something that they pointed out. Is the pieces came with this weird, you know, white powdery coating on them, and I believe this is a, is a byproduct of manufacturing. Uh, the person on Amazon gave it a one star, uh, a one star uh, rating. I would think as a, you know, it, I would probably think that's. Um, a little too harsh because of the fact that you can easily remove it so in and, and why am I saying that I don't mean to tell anybody how to review or how to read anything the reason why I think it's a little bit harsh is because if you give it a one star it might deter someone from buying the, the set when in reality all you have to do is um, just remove the coating off of the piece and then you're good to go um so that that's a, that's finish so pretty good though overall i would say really nice uh, how about the size and weight i did touch on it a little bit um let's talk about the height of the king the king sits at 3.73 inches tall um according to my caliper and the width or the diameter of the base 1.3 inches now when you and calculate the ratio the the ratio of the bottom uh, to the to the height of the king we're talking about 36.9 or 37 um, percent meaning as I was as I already stated earlier these pieces do not meet tournament requirements obviously not by my account but according to the United States uh, the US Chess Federation and fetus um, rules for chess equipment the base of the king needs to be between 40 and 50 percent of its height and these pieces are not um, 
that's why I was mentioning, you know, with, with the piece, with a base that is 37% of its height, it would it be the most stable out there for fast play? Probably not. So there's that for you in, in terms of the height. How about uh, the weight? I think the weight is very respectable. Two ounces for the kings, or 1.9 ounces to be exact. And the set as a whole is 2.5, um, 2 2 and a half pounds. And so that's really nice. Um, when you go on, a, on the website, um, they don't ad advertise the weight. Um, it tells you that the pieces are three and three quarters uh, inches high, and I, I think a 3.73 is close enough. You know, I could be super picky and say it's not, you know, 3.75. It's, it's really close. Um, if anything, I, I will be, you know, I will be wondering more like why is it that they couldn't get the bases just a little bit wider? Um, so that they would meet tournament requirements. It kind of buffles me a little bit considering that the, the, the world champion, at least as his name and, and face on behind these, uh, the, uh, this set. So, uh, how about the value? Um, I bought him through Chess House. And by the way, if you care, uh, at the end of this review I, I would really like to talk about chess house uh, give you like my mini review of the store if you will so if, you, if you're considering doing business with them stick around and I'll talk a little bit about them um, so I bought it from them um, at $50 a set basically I honestly think that is just about the most I I would spend for these pieces. Um, I bought them because they're part novelty, you know, um, part because I like them. But quite honestly, I don't think I would have paid sixty. Um, that's just me, you know. And the fact that I'm not made out of money or anything, so uh, sixty. I don't I think I, that would have been it. like. I think fifty is my absolute top for these pieces right here. Um, so, in terms of value, I think you get fair value, you know? uh, How about issues with the set? Um, I think the carrying case is a little heavy, and, um, you know, I can show you the, uh, the, the carrying set, um, case. right here to see wow let me move these pieces out of the way real quick and here it is um, and I also have an opening to do one of these sets the reason being I, I bought two sets and I will open the second one here in just a minute and here's what it looks like it's like one of those hard plastic tubes that architects use, or at least they used to use when they actually had the blueprints. Um, it comes with two screw caps like this one. Basically you open it and inside you have your pieces um, and other things I would like to show you when I actually unwrap and open up the one that is brand that I haven't even opened yet. So. Okay, so I think it's it's kind of a heavy carrying case, and if you're gonna be carrying it around all day, yeah, I don't know if you will be too too happy with that. Um, how about the board? Well, uh, that's probably my least favorite thing about the set. And um, here's the board right there. See here, plate magnets, plate magnets. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. The quality isn't great, I have to say. Like if you look behind the board, a traditional vinyl chessboard has like a basically like a piece of fabric, and this one has like this thin mesh. I kind of imagine that once this mesh rubs off of, of or comes off of the the bottom of the board, that the rest of the board would soon 
I don't know, break and stretch and so how how durable are these? Hard to tell exactly, but I wouldn't really put them in the in the category of you know ex extremely durable or anything like that. Okay. Um, so that's, that's one thing. In in addition to that, the squares at, are advertised as two and two quarters, like regular you know roll of vinyl chessboards like this one. These this one here is in fact. 2.25 inches of square, right? This one, on the other hand, is 2. Point, let's see, 2.17, somewhere 2.16. Um, assume as you could probably tell here if I close up, it's like printed. The, the white squares are printed on the board, and I guess. You know they're not so well defined so some of the squares are slightly bigger than in others not by a whole lot or anything um, certainly not not something you would notice but what I would notice most of all is the fact that they're not 2.25 inches uh, and this is the difference right here let's see yeah let me let me grab the other board to show you this and if not I will correct it this is as you can tell how wide the square is okay let me see if I can adjust it to make it exact let's see here I think that's So I'm gonna lock it, and uh, these are in fact 2.25. See that? 2.25 inch squares, and here are these. Quite a bit smaller. We're talking about one point. I mean, 2.17. There we go, 2.13 in that case. So, am I pointing this out because it's, it's, it's such a big deal? No, um, I'm pointing it out because that's what you, that's what they sell you, that's what they, they advertise on the box. Is it necessarily bad? They're not quite 2.2 2 and a quarter inch squares? No, and in fact, Considering the fact that the, the bases could be a little bit wider, maybe the squares fit the, the pieces perfectly. The issue is that I think this should disclose that, There's, you know, so that we can make the decision. Um, okay, so that's that when it comes to, to the board. I would like it, especially for $50, that the set came with two queens and the reason why I bought an extra set was because I wanted two queens um, just a little OCD I know I know you, you know they're not necessarily needed <laughs> and for for a long long time just just sets didn't even have two queens and there's a new thing but I would like I like to have it if I if I get it if I can if I can afford it basically so um, there are the pieces, and so I bought another set. Um, let's see what else. Let me go ahead and open uh, the set, the brand new set, so that you see how what you get uh, how, and how you get it when you when you order it, and then we'll talk about uh, the chess house a little bit. All right. So in all its glory, here is bubble wrap so I'm going to open it here all right something else 
that I could point out that I particularly don't like is the the heavy branding. I mean, man, Magnus's face is everywhere. Uh, he got that. Maybe this will be a collectible item one day, and and that will be really cool. But man, I'm thinking, you know, how much more elegant it would be if this everything was black, right? And they had just that. I don't know. Just me, right? Um, so let's open it from here. Okay, and the board is rolled in there. Um, and the piece is coming. These really cool little bags. Okay, let's get that one out there. Okay. The black pieces come in the black bag. Oh, and there's some literature in here. Well, sorry guys, I'm doing this while trying to see through the through the screen and then the board. Everything smells quite nice. And that's it. Interior is white, as you can tell, and there's absolutely nothing else in it. I'm gonna put that to the side. The board we've seen a little bit of, so as I showed earlier, has that on two of the sides, and then algebraic notation on the other two. Um, I would say a good enough board, but with the little criticisms I laid out before. You get this thing here. It's just a little card. Okay. We can pause that if you want to read it. Anytime, anywhere. Play my guess. Probably promoting the app, right? Um, the set. You know, there's a, an app, a chess uh, app that bears uh, Magnus's name. And the pieces in the app basically resemble the pieces here. Um, here's the um, game of chess and the rules. I guess it's nice to have that in case you bought the set and you decided you want to learn how to play chess. Okay, very nice. Um, that's cool. Um, then let's see. Black pieces come in the black baggie. The bags, one of the strings and the other bag ro broke immediately. I, I don't know. I, the fabric is durable enough, I guess. The one thing I noticed is that if you get the pieces out and you put them back in there, if you roll the board, put it inside of the case, and then try to fit everything in the in the tube, is either I'm <laughs> I'm dumb or something, but I had a really hard time making these pieces in the bag fit in the tube. Uh, try them by, for yourselves, and then comment and tell me if you didn't have a problem too. Uh, let's get one of the pieces out. Let's see, this is kind of the coating I was talking about earlier that I think is a, a byproduct of uh, the manufacturing. See that? It comes off. I'm sorry, by the way, I was working in the garden today, so my fingers are probably dirty. Um, so, let's see. Let's see here. You can really see it there. Okay. Now compare that to this. See, this is after I cleaned them. This is before. I actually grabbed the rag that, you know, the bag that they came in and cleaned it. And I cleaned them using that. So, yeah, actually, what's interesting is the white pieces also have the same coating. It, it's but it's much, it's a lot harder to see it, obviously because the pieces are white. But if you were to clean them and then look at them really closely, you, you definitely, you definitely be able to tell uh, there is like uh, something on 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 the pieces. Um, and the backs again, going back to the branding, there, play Magnus everywhere. <laughs> Thank you.
So there is that. And that's, that's basically what arrives in the mail when you order the set. Uh, how about resemblance to photographs? I would say <laughs> the pictures they have on their website have been cleaned or they did not get that white coating that we're talking about. You, you could be quite surprised and perhaps disappointed if you if you find that white coating and you're not aware of the fact that you can remove the coating let's um so that's the review in in short i would totally buy this set um again i wouldn't put, pay more than than 50. i will for that i would like to see that they include a second queen for promotion um, I would like to see maybe that they square away the issue of manufacturing chisshouse.com smart minds great memories again I don't get any kickbacks I bought this set like you would and, uh, and most certainly they didn't ask me they don't, they don't know I'm reviewing chess sets online they didn't ask me for to promote them on YouTube or anything like that so let's just keep that in mind I wouldn't have to say out of all the years that I've been dealing with chess vendors this has been the absolute best experience I have had I am extremely satisfied with them I will definitely come back and I would certainly recommend them to my friends um, so I'm researching online uh, whether or not I want to buy these chess pieces so I go to Amazon I see this really negative review one star criticizing the the, the coding the black pieces come with um, so I'm thinking wow you know it's like certainly this is not what I'm seeing on, on other pictures on, 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 on the internet so what is going on so I I call chess house and, and I I talked to this guy Raphael and I said, hey, it, you know, I, basically I run by him, but I just told you guys. And he said, okay, well, let me do this. Let me, let me go ahead and take some pictures of the chess pieces and then you tell me. First of all, I mean, who does that nowadays? You know, this, this guy <laughs> stood away from his desk and grabbed the set, took some pictures with his phone, emailed them to me so that I could see for myself. At the same time, he said, oh, by the way, though, this decoding is there, but I can remove it with my fingers. To me, that, you know, made a deal because I thought, okay, and now I know that if I buy him, that I will get this coding, but I can remove it. I also emailed them, you know, I, I, contact them, I contacted them via phone and I also went and chatted with one of the representatives because I didn't know which one was gonna get through first and uh, talked to about the same issue this person basically replied with a similar answer and I don't know if they had talked about it but this person said oh yeah I used a little simple green and, and it came off <laughs> I personally didn't use simple green but this is two different representatives from the same company trying to find a solution when I was purchasing the set, I included a little note. Um, I asked, mainly because I was concerned about the coloring. Um, I asked, could you ensure that the pieces match because I'm buying two sets, simple because uh, I would like to form one set with two queens. Um, that was that was it. Obviously, the, the, the queens, I'm sure, will match. But, um, he sent me an email and uh, you know in and he said so I wanted to make sure that everything was okay and it wasn't just a you know your standard follow-up I emailed back and said yeah no no worries you know everything is good and then he said I know that you wanted to make sure that all the pieces matched is that the case I, it's just the fact that they email you to to follow up and then they remember that you included a little note on your order which typically when you write those notes a lot of times they don't even see them 
and then you get something wrong you know it's like they have the space there for something for, for you to say something to them and a lot of times it doesn't even get to them and I'm not talking chess vendors I'm talking about in general uh, so these guys truly really really excellent customer service they followed up uh, the product arrived really quickly I mean I think they're in Oregon um, I'm not sure but uh, I had it I had to sit within three or four days um, shipping wasn't you know it was well priced so what else good can I say uh, about these guys uh, I think the difference was made by the representatives who went out of their way to do something that you know other people wouldn't do good job chess house and I another reason why I'm putting this out there is because I wish all vendors were the same way unfortunately that hasn't been my experience and and that includes some big names in the industry you know you call them it's just bad customer service it's almost like you're bothering them um, you know they question you and you know and why you want something a certain way when this sh that shouldn't be the case this marks the conclusion of this review thank you for sticking around okay guys cheers see you later